Hello, William from Push Air Expert here today. I've got Andy with me from Baby Style. He's the creator of the egg brand. So Andy, where did egg come from? Where did the idea come from? Um, about two years ago, uh, an expert uh, manufacturer came to us, push chair manufacturer, and said, uh, what would we like to have as a wish list for a push chair? Um, and we basically sort of sat down with some designers and a drawing board and came out with some beautiful designs and curved features. Uh, and that was how it was born. I uh, especially wanted to make sure we had attention to detail and a lovely sort of uh, curved soft features. Yeah, I love the styling, I have to say. The colour mix on this particular one is great. The space grey chassis and the brown leather handle, stitching, etc., which we'll get to in a bit. It's really nice. I agree. Yep. Pardon the pun, how long did it take to hatch egg? Well, uh, it took, again, over two years. Um, of lots of developing, lots of prototypes, and a million dollars of investment. A million dollars? A, a million dollars. Some sleepless nights right there. Absolutely. A million dollars of tooling into that. Goodness, so me, goodness me. If you want to bring the main seat over, obviously we've got the carry cot there, but the main seat's got some fantastic touches to it. Looking at the seat, I mean, one of the things that caught my eye straight away was this liner in here, the copper colour it's got. It looks, looks really great. It does, and this I think this works very, very well with this, with this green. Um, we've got six other liners that we can use as well, which goes with the other other colours. So you can mix and match. Yeah, and you get a pop of colour into that just to freshen the, the product up. But uh, yeah, it uh, certainly goes well with that with that particular push chair. Fantastic. Now we asked our Facebook fans to come uh, to ask us some questions today. Yeah. Laura Bowne has asked, "What were the most challenging elements to perfect?" Uh, a fair few to be honest with you, but in particular the bending of the tubes, that was a, a very difficult thing to perfect. Most strollers have got straight lines for tubes. On ours, because we wanted to create these lovely shapes, we've got shapes of curves here and curved up to the handle, and in particular there's three different bends. On that, on that handle, that was a, a nightmare for them to do. It was worth it because I've, I've had a little push today and that handle is really comfortable. Can you talk us through egg? You know, what are parents going to love about it? What are your favourite features? What what's, uh, makes it comfortable for the child? Well, hopefully parents will love the look. That was the, that was the main remit. We wanted to make something that looked aesthetically pleasing. And, and I think it does. I think it looks fabulous. Yeah, it does. It does look great. But moreover than that, it's got to also be practical. It's got to work properly. It's got to have lots of features. Uh, in particular, the, the biggest benefit this has got is just a beautiful, beautiful ride. It's got beautifully sort of uh, suspension on it, nice soft size as well, which gives it a very, very nice, easy push and a very nice, comfortable handle height. Yeah, the handle height, I mean, you can adjust that quite simply, can't you, by twisting the top there? Yeah, simply rocks forward. You just push, push this forward into this enter button, and it's got five different height adjustments. Very nice, very nice. And the seat, does that rotate? You can obviously pair and face that. How does that work? Yeah, it's very simple. You've got a button on either side. This lifts up. Seat turns around, it's a, a lightweight seat as well, and this relocates. Nice, isn't it? Um, can you use that seat from birth? You can use a carry cot from birth, the seat's not ideal, the seat's, the seat's from six months, we recommend. Right, okay. And Alexandra Stone's asked, what car seats are compatible with egg? Good question. Uh, we've got a car seat that's been designed by Kiddy, and that's a special fabric that's been done for baby style. Um, that goes with a special with the, shape, I see. Special shape, that goes with the egg perfect. I mean, we had to have that car seat, it's just got a great profile. So that's compatible with the, uh, with the egg stroller. The Maxi Cozy range is also compatible. Uh, Cybex, Be Safe, and Recaro. So there's quite a few so car all the seats. Main, all the main brands, really. Yeah, and these days a lot of people are buying the car seat first and then they'll go to see what, what, what uh, push chair that can go on. So we, we wanted to make the egg basically accessible to most of the car seats on the market. Right, right. So, something else I've noticed, there's a little um, hidey hole underneath where the yeah. child's feet go. Can you show that feature off for you, me? You found that one, yeah. Yeah, there's a clever little little cover here that lifts up and it's just a pocket that's hidden away. Oh, nice. Now, this would house the rain cover, yep. so the rain covers can be hidden away, or other knickknacks if you wanted to. Also, underneath this is a nice Oh, that's clever. Pull out like that. net. Now, this Very is a, an insect sort of mosquito net as well that can be used. Or is, it, um, is that a shade as well? Sunshade it's sunshade or? as well, yes. Interesting question from Misha Kerr. She pushes her child a long way during the day. Are the wheels up to the job for mums who don't drive? She obviously uses it, I think she said even up to nine miles a day on wow. Facebook today. Wow. It's a long way, isn't it? It's a long one, yeah. Uh, yes, they are. Yeah, these, these particular wheels are made of uh, something called a PU rubber. 
and we have we have a patented true ride technology on this, which which basically is a, a rubber that will be uh, give all the benefits of an air tire, but it won't puncture, obviously. And uh, during the testing process, I understand that's quite rigorous. It's an arduous test. Yeah, seventy-two hours. Seventy-two yeah, hours on a roll. Constant, road. constant. Constantly moving, constantly hitting curves, bumps and lumps, just to test out the whole of the push chair. But we actually tested this this push chair uh, for three times of that test, and we put three lots of 72 hours through. Oh, well, so it's obviously quite reliable. It stands up. The nice thing about the to answer the, the, the question as well, the uh, the tread on the tires will stay there constantly for for three times longer than you would get from an EVA push chair or an EVA tire. Uh, okay, that's very good. Becky Stott asks, does the seat need to be removed from the chassis to fold it? Great time to show the fold of the pushchair off. It does, like with most of these pushchairs. Uh, you basically do the same thing again, take the two clips, disengage the seat unit. And then, ideally, we'd push the brake down, which incidentally is quite a nice feature. The, the brake, we've made this flip-flop friendly. So, rather than having to pull up the, the brake lever, we now just push down. Oh, down, push, push down for on and push down for off. Engages both ways. So the, ideally with the brake on, same with the handle that we've done before. So we rock the handle forwards and drop it into its lowest position. And from there, with the same part, turn it back and it goes to the ground. There's also a carrying strap which you can lift up, which will then fold the straw. Brilliant, brilliant. And will it freestand like that? Yes, it will, yeah. It's got loads of features. I really like it. I have to say, it's very, very clever. Now, I understand that egg can also be converted into a tandem. Indeed, yes. Should I bring over the one we have over here? Definitely. Yes, it certainly looks handsome in black. I really like that. It's a, a real great colour scheme. The name of that's Gotham it's Black. Gotham Black, yes, inspired as you can imagine by, by, <laughs> by Batman. Batman. So, uh, but we also, with the fabrics, we've got six fabrics on the market. All the fabrics were, were intentionally put out there to be very, very smart, very sleek uh, and sophisticated. So there's nothing too outrageous or too funky from I mean, it. And how many different yeah. chassis colours are there? Is that there's three. There's three. the black one that we're seeing right now. We've also got the, the, the nice one that's the metal, metal grey uh, and also a chrome chassis. So to convert to a tandem, simply all you do is buy the adapter from us, which is £50. Yep. And that drops onto the chassis, and then that houses either two car seats, two carry cots, or two seat units. Ah, well, that brings me on to my next question. Amy Beach, can you have two seats parent facing from six months? Uh, no, unfortunately not. No, you can have both of them in the, in the seat units, but they have to be facing. Right, right. right. So, just going into this, um, can you show me? Uh, presumably, the top seat will recline yep. with the carry cot in place. That will recline to a full recline. So effectively, you could have two sort of sleeping children. Two sleeping children, yeah. And um, is it easy to get the carry cot off once yep. you want to remove it? Before we go through that, well, the nice thing about the carry cot, if you buy the the, uh, the egg as a complete system, as most people will, then you can use the same carry cot in the bottom. Oh, the right. You don't need a different carry cot. For don't need a different okay. different carry cot for that. So you've you've already got everything you need simply just by the adapter. So carry cot pops out. Simple. Really, really straightforward. Brilliant. Well, I have to say, Andy, I'm really impressed. I love it. It looks great. The tandem and the single stroller, you've come an awful long way. Thank you. Very impressed. Very impressed. Um, where can parents try one out? They're available right now in specialised independent stores throughout the country. Uh, they're also being stocked in mother care as well. Um, and is there, do you have a retailer, uh, retailer finder on your website? We do. If you go to, uh, to eggstroller.com, there's a retailer finder on there, stockist finder. Simply put in the, uh, the the postcode and that will bring up the nearest retailers to you. Brilliant. What's coming up in the future? A bit of a question from me. I'm, like, you seem like quite an ambitious person. <laughs> yeah, but maybe guarded on, on some of the answers to this one. Um, there's a couple of things that's going to happen. We are going to produce more colours for this. There's going to be at least two new colours that will come out next year. Uh, they may be limited editions or special editions, so look out for something a little bit uh, extra on the, on these. Um, but also we're looking at a buggy. We're going As to in a stroller stroller. A little stroller that's going to be available, which will have, again, lots of the DNA of the egg brand running through it. But uh, watch this space on that one. Oh, we'll look forward to seeing that. Well, you can read our review of the egg over on pushexpert.com. I'd, I'd like to say thanks very much, Randy, for coming in today. Really appreciate you, you coming in and showing no us egg. Brilliant. Thank well you. Done. Thank you.